Well, hello and good morning. Man, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> okay, I'll kick it for you one time. Well, maybe I'll do it one more time. How's that? That wasn't a very good kick. Watch out, buddy. Ready? You ready? <laughs> yeah, Miss Linda was out here last night with him, tossing a little rubber frisbee. And uh, he got pretty tired. He's still over there waiting. Come on, buddy. Come on. Easton, come. No, he's going to lay there. He can wait. <laughs> yep, here he comes now. Here, look at here. There he comes. All right, now we're going to see if we can open this door. Oh, look at there. I think I got it. Uh, last video you've seen, I got my cast off and there's my my arms are still pretty weak let's get this door opened up I'm gonna tie this rope right here so yesterday I was wore out I mean I don't know what it was if it was the weather or what was going on, but I just could not get motivated. But today is a new day, and uh, I might run up to the local greenhouse and see if they have any tomato plants on sale. Because, whoops. See if we get. To, oh yeah, we got it. We got it. We got the door. Man, it feels good to actually uh, use, be able to use my hands, you know. Uh, but my plan is today to get on the mower, do some mowing, and bring my tractor with the blade over here after I mow around. The, after I mow around this here, get the grass cut down, and uh, I'm going to use the blade like a, I've done it before, I've used it like a plow, and uh, rough up some of this ground here, and then put some weed barrier down, and maybe put a couple of tomato plants in, and maybe a couple of pepper plants. Yeah, it's probably a little late. Memorial Day weekend is coming up this weekend. And, uh, yeah, and uh, I, feel, I feel motivated today for some reason. I don't know what it is, but I'm actually, Miss Linda's at work, so I'm actually going to have to uh, fire up the ranch truck. And I've used this truck. This truck's got 270,000 miles on it. I used to use it when I had horses pulling my horse trailer. I pulled livestock trailers with it. I pulled my flatbed utility trailer. And I use it to pull my enclosed trailer. But here lately it's just been sitting. And uh, I need to fire it up and uh, move it. And then I'm going to jump on the mower and mow around here. I cannot let the dog... I can't... I can't keep East and my white spotted dog out here while I'm mowing because he just goes crazy. Uh, he, he nips at the tires and stuff and he just goes nuts. So I'm going to quit talking and I'm just going to, I'm just going to bring you along with me for the day and uh, see what we get done. Okay. Thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up and, um, uh, you know, um, 
if y'all are new to the channel april 14th april 14th i laid my motorcycle i'm sorry about the transition but it is what it is i laid my motorcycle over no this is not my motorcycle i have a 2020 harley davidson road glide limited i laid it over out here in front of the house i just i might try to pin the video here in this somewhere around here you know <laughs> uh that was a rough day so y'all get a chance go back and watch that video when i put it up here and uh we'll go from there So yeah, I'm going to, first thing I got to do is put some gas in the lawnmower and then mow around the garden and stuff. So y'all come along with me for the day and we'll, we'll talk to you here after a while. All right.
Well, that's as good as that's gonna get. <laughs> oh, man. So, I, uh, gosh darn, sorry y'all. <laughs> yeah. Man, you take, you take it for granted how much strength you have in your arms, so. This is kind of like my physical therapy, but uh, I will actually have to do some physical therapy and kind of stretch things out a little bit in my, my wrist, so. And we're gonna go over and get the tractor with the blade, and I'm gonna rough all this up. You might have seen laying out there in the garden area, two rolls of net wrap, and, uh, those have been laying there since I got the garden tilled. My neighbor come over and tilled my garden for me. So we'll uh, get those out of the way and then I'll bring the tractor over with the blade. Kind of rough things up a little bit, so to speak. Well, <laughs> I didn't film any, any of the, the tractor stuff over here in the garden. But here, I'm very pleased with myself <laughs> for uh, doing this but yeah I got it all I used the bucket and the blade on the tractor but here's what it looked like before well I guess we'll see if we can attempt to uh, drive up here to the greenhouse now I have driven Miss Linda's vehicle I don't know three or four different times I'm gonna see how much fuel oh, we got enough fuel yeah we got enough fuel so uh, I've only got a few miles to go up there to the uh, greenhouse so It's just kind of a booger turning the steering wheel so I'm gonna put you all down here for a minute yeah sorry if it's a little shaky but it is what it is it's been a while since I've driven this old truck luckily the greenhouse is mostly all paved country roads We'll get going here. Well, made it safely up here to the greenhouse, everybody. Somebody just sent me a text. <laughs> we'll see if we can open this door. Oh, yeah. Vegetables over here. Hi, how are you doing? Fine, how are you? Oh, fantastic. Here's the greenhouse guy. Tomato plants, do you have any left? Yeah. Any on sale? <laughs> Yesterday we were giving away. But you day. were? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm a day late. <laughs> well, here we go. Let's see what we got left. I got me a little wagon here. Check it out. So, wow, they do have some. Large tomatoes, $5.50. But he said they were giving them away yesterday. Wow. Yeah, they need to be put in the ground pretty darn quick. Look at this gal. But that's all right. Big boys are sold out. They have some, oh, here we go. This is what I want. We have some little cherry tomatoes, sugar rush. Let's try, let's try one of those. Sugar rush cherry tomatoes. 
There's a neat one. We might be able to save that. Well, I've got uh, two cherry tomato plants, and I picked up another tomato plant that is a Jet Star, it's called. It doesn't have any blooms on it. It looks pretty good. Um, they've got plants here that already have tomatoes on them, but they don't look that good. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, maybe they'll give me a give me a give me something for free, right? Chocolate sprinkles, tomato plant. That's that's weird. Here's an Amish paste tomato, acorn shaped. Huh. Interesting. There's a big beef tomato plants. I wonder if I could save that one. Y'all leave me a comment down below, you know, if you see one that's, you know, bad shape, you, you do you take the bad leaves off? I don't know. So I'm just messing around trying to plant something in the garden. <laughs> Cause it's nice to have uh, homegrown, you know what I mean? You can just walk right out to the garden and pick one up. Delicious. Now we'll look around a little bit. Alright, let's see what kind of peppers they have because oh boy, Miss Linda will love this. Look at this, y'all. So yeah, ghost peppers. Yep, Miss Linda will love that. I'll get a ghost pepper and I'll get a jalapeno pepper plant. Cause she likes, she likes hot stuff. That's why she's with me. All right, now we're gonna see if there's any flowers left. They don't have very many. They've got some, as you all can see. Usually I get the uh, petunias, I guess they're called, right? I don't know. See, these are, these are like, uh, Titan Vinca, four pack, 325. Those are kind of neat. They had some here last year, where it was like black and orange, and I thought those were the coolest looking ones because that's Harley Davidson colors. So, I don't know. We'll pick something out. But I'm a little late in the season. I should have came up yesterday. <laughs> he said he were giving them away yesterday. There. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. I can carry that box. I appreciate it. I'll take the wagon back real quick. How many years has this greenhouse been here? In 1962, wow. Well, she did at the flower shop, and then it grew from there. Well, didn't they live next door? Yeah, they still do. Yeah. Yep. And Randy and his wife is, and lives just down the, the next house down. Right, so. right. And the third generation is working here, too, now. Wow. He worked here full time. He's a, Randy was the mechanics of the lawnmowers. Lawnmowers and stuff, yeah. Stuff, yeah. Yep. He does help us with the other plants and stuff too. Right. His main job is with the um, Cool. And stuff and awesome. The so. Yeah, I wish I could afford one of those big zero turns right now, but <laughs> thanks a lot. Uh -huh, thank you. 
So yeah, 1962 since this place has been in business. So we gotta do the math because I've only got like third grade math. 2023 minus 1962. 61 years, y'all. Alright, gotta look behind me. We'll get on back to the house. For me today, uh, you know, this morning I got up and uh, I couldn't really make a fist, but now, since I've been, you know, using my hand a little bit, I've been able to make a fist. You know, this morning when I woke up, it was about like this, you know, and man, I thought, what in the world's going on? I was just really tight and uh so don't much, i don't know much anything else but all i can tell you is this this weekend is memorial weekend and please please be safe this weekend and uh say hi to a stranger when you're out and about thank a veteran let's all reflect on uh the whole reason for Memorial Day weekend. So, y'all have a great day, and we will talk at you later. Hit the big thumbs up for me, just a reminder. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just end it on that. Oh, say bye. <laughs>